Hey Virgos, how are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle here, or CJ. Thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, and shares. Let's go ahead and get right into it, Virgo, okay? This is going to be your February 2021 love message. Your overall cards here, these are the energies. We have Jupiter expansion okay so i feel like that the wheel is now turning in your favor or it has been i feel like some of you feel this expansion happening this enthusiasm this um optimism okay some of you there has been some generosity placed in your life it's like you know that that was nothing but the universe giving you a helping hand okay you've had luck on your side some of you may have traveled in the past okay or recently but there is this energy of positivity around you. Some of you may be thinking about starting your own business or taking a leap of faith on you. Taking a leap knowing that and trusting that you know what it is that you have to do for yourself in regards to funds, in regards to moving, in regards to your family. Okay, But with this um, rainbow here, it is the energy of you feeling good. Wish fulfillment here. Okay? Like fortune finally moving the way you want it to, okay? The next card as an overall, you receive the Ascendant Outlook. For some of you, you're definitely um, making great first impressions or you have this instinct about people when they when you first meet them, you go with your gut or at least that's what Spirit God Source is asking you to do. For some of you, you're really looking into um, changing the way you look. You may be trying to lose weight or you may be on a mission to do exercises. But I do feel this energy here that you have um, you have a certain view is what I want to say. You have a certain view on people, places, things, the world, okay? And on yourself. So you may be changing your outlook and maybe that's what um, the universe is helping you do. Okay, some of you, it's about working on um, this aura, okay, working on your aura, okay, or you listen to your intuition more. It's something like that. The last card that fell out, it was like, it was out here, I didn't even know. It's the 12th house, so some of you may be dealing with the Pisces, okay. You could be dealing with the Pisces, the uh, 12th house is Neptune, it's um, Pisces energy, all right. It says here surrender, the subconscious mind, it's compassion, it's dreams, it's karma, it's forgiveness, it's the unseen, it's healing, it's spiritual development, it's guilt, prayer, and the Akashic records. With this card coming out at the end like that, I do feel this energy here where Spirit God Source is giving you this energy to move through the 12th house energy. It can be a little bit difficult, okay? The 12th house could be difficult because um, it's what's unseen, okay? So it's like the dreams or the thoughts, all right? Or if you believe in the past life, it could be about the past life. Um, it could be about... You know, you have envisions and dreams or knowledge that is within you that no one else knows about, but now is being highlighted or explored. Okay, so I feel this energy here with Jupiter, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you're going to be fine going through this energy, but you, there's something about you changing your outlook. But let's move through the the energies we have here: fulfillment and wish. Okay which is like the Nine of Cups. So again, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a water sign. And then we have memories and nostalgia, Six of Cups energy, celebration, gifts, and abundance. There's something the Spirit Guide Source wants you to know that you have. You have access to a spiritual gift. You've been gifted with some type of gift. Even if you don't consider it a spiritual gift, it could be beauty. It could be singing, cooking. There's something that you have been gifted with that you may not um, have been paying attention to it, but now it's coming to light with these um, beautiful nostalgic memories here. It could be something that was covered up from your childhood. You may be remembering, you may be um, going into the Akashic Records and realizing what your gift is, whatever it is, Spirit God Source is asking you to move towards it. 
okay because it's going to bring you this beautiful wish fulfillment like never before you will be celebrated you will be you've already been gifted and you would be more abundant okay so there's something there all right we have control tactics growth summer and the storm unexpected okay i feel this energy here where um, again, in the past, there may have been some control tactics by you or someone else, but there is this energy of growth and expansion with the summer here, okay, with the growth here, and then an unexpected epiphany, which is tied to these gifts. So I do feel this energy where if you are dealing with um, someone else or you're in a partnership, only for a few of you, but there is this energy that um, Pisces is a mutable sign just like Virgo. So there may be this energy where you guys kind of mirror each one another. When one is in a good mood, the other is in a good mood. When one is in a bad mood, the other is in a, in a bad mood. There's this energy here of um, pushback is what I feel, tug of war. But there is this control tactics. Now, this is either you trying to take control and trying to figure out a way to control situations. Or this may be someone outside of you that as soon as you start to feel that you could do this, take a risk. You can do that expand you can you can you can you can someone kind of puts you in your place and kind of stops you or blocks you and you may not even realize that that is what's happening because it's a control tactic that you're not noticing because you love this person okay going forward we have seeds of spring cold and detachment and third eye clarity again i do feel this energy here where if you um, set your seeds of intention. Spirit God Source is making change happen in your life. Okay, you may have felt detached. You may have felt like uh, blocked. You may have felt again like someone was, you know, or you may not have felt it, but this is what the card is saying. There's this energy of control tactics and there's this person that is blocking with the detachment or they are shutting it down and being very cold about it or shutting it off or not talking about it, right? Okay, but you're going to get an epiphany. You're going to realize what is happening. Okay, you're going to remember how things started in the past with wish fulfillment and now they're here. Okay, you're going to get clarity. You're going to see straight through what you need to see. Also, there is an unexpected epiphany about your talent, your gift. You're going to see it. Okay, you've been called. All right, you have a gift. You do. Okay, for some of you, there's this energy here where you may doubt yourself, and I don't know if that's a part of um, the energy that is being put upon you. Okay, it's outside of you, you're already doubtful, but then somebody else like cements that energy. It's almost like if I'm already worried about something, and then somebody comes and gives me more worrisome news. It, it's complete worry. There's no out of that, right? That's what I'm kind of feeling. It's like seeds that are planted out of control tactics that's blocking you, okay? But that is about to end, is what I see. That is about to end, if that is what's happening outside of you or even within you, because there is this energy of the 12th house. So your own thoughts that you keep to yourself, they're, they're, you're going through an expansion, but with Jupiter here giving you love, okay, and expanding your mindset, you may be able to see the good, okay, as opposed to just focusing on the bad. And uh, if not, that is the that is the um, the message, okay, to change your outlook about yourself. This is beautiful, okay. Change your outlook about yourself, about the world. All right, find your new mission statement, which again I feel ties in with your gifts, okay, and your attitude, your outer self, your point of view, and your body image. So. What I'm feeling here is whatever you want to do, you can do. If you want to lose weight, you can do that. If you want to shift towards this gift, because I feel like it is definitely something you are seeing, you are acknowledging it. Okay, it may have been hidden, but it's coming to light. All right, now, in regards to um, what else I see here, I see somebody may have had a baby recently, like in um, uh, November, December, January. Okay, congratulations. For others of you, you may have had a second baby. One that may have been in spring, okay, um, born in spring, and one that may have been produced in the summertime because it says growth, all right? And with the abundance and the blessings here, celebration, this is a gift of life, all right, with the light here. So congratulations to some, to some of you, a lot of you, 
okay you may be dealing with a pisces a cancer a scorpio an aquarius a fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay now um i also feel that this is a time that if you do not want to be pregnant um take precaution because there is this energy of pregnancy okay if you do want to get pregnant congratulations this is the perfect time all right um yeah so let's go ahead there's a gift that you have um but i also feel this energy also that some of you may be downing the direction you could take your family some of you may be going through um a little stagnancy or a little rut when it comes to money but there is this energy here that the seeds that you have planted in the spring which spring is coming up right now high manifestation time you may see growth you may see um fruition by summer okay and you will celebrate but there is this energy of not holding back do not hold back don't hold back don't allow anyone to hold you back okay all right don't tame the dragon because your dragon is going to bring you money abundance not only money but happiness joy light energy okay let's see i just want to get one card on this control yeah so whatever this control is in the past you're replacing it with see self-love creation and intention setting the seeds of intention for beautiful wish fulfillment right here right here having clarity and it may come out of the blue you may think of some things and be like wow is that me and do i have that ability or can i really do this or that or the other it will be different for all of you okay these cards here will be clarified in the extension Some of you, you could really move um, into some money here. Pay attention to your intuition. Okay. Holy Spirit, messages of love, truth, and guidance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus people. Some of you may have just gotten married or you will in the coming months or this year. Wish fulfillment. Three of Wands. Four of Cups. Five of Swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that your wish fulfillment is something you've been waiting on. It's something that you could actually take um, and move forward, okay? Because the two of wands is before the three of wands. The two of wands talks about making a decision on which path to go. The three of wands is already having the blueprint and already having a plan and waiting on your ships to come in, waiting for it to come into fruition, okay? But I do feel this energy here where some of you may be holding back because you feel that it has been rejected again with this control tactic here. You feel that it's been rejected. You may have argued over it and it's like I'm tired of arguing on it. I'm going to let someone else take the lead. But that is not what you should do. Okay? Because it's wish fulfillment here. You know the way. You know the way. Yeah, see? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody really, really, really working on themselves. I'm going to go down this way because that's what Spirit told me to do. Okay, so with the control tactics and the self-love creation and intention. You may have been holding yourself back or it was somebody, okay? But there's this energy here with the Eight of Pentacles. It talks about learning. Learning about yourself. Learning about... Um, going to school perhaps some of you may need to go to school or get a certification for what it is that you want to do all right so that you can set your intentions clearly yeah this is what i want to do so i'm going to go to school i'm going to take a quick certification i'm going to get my degree i'm going to whatever learn read up on it and you by doing that you set your intentions you put your intentions out into the universe and then they help move you forward with this um expansion okay and then you change your outlook because you learned more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is working on you, okay? This is working on you and working very hard. It's not going to be easy. But with the Three of Cups, you will be celebrated. Y'all And we have the Princess of Wands. This is taking the initial movement in regards to that, okay? 
Mm -hmm. There's also this energy here, right? And beware of haters, okay? There's some haterade energy here. With the 12th house, I do feel this energy here where you're... um. You're going to know. You're going to know because this is like my karmic card, okay? This is karmic, all right? So on here, it also says karma, okay? Forgiveness. It's something that you're going to have a second chance at, all right? There's something that you may have put down back, I don't know, back in the, those nostalgic, those days that you were like, you know, free and single and young and had all of these dreams and thoughts of what you could and possibly uh, achieve but you didn't this is energy here where it's coming back around you're being given a second chance okay even if it's in a relationship but there's this energy here that you're going to do it better this time you're going to work hard you're going to learn something and you may learn something about the kind of company that you keep okay with this outlook you may find out um something about the company you keep and maybe the energies that you take on without realizing it okay like if you rely on other people to give you the yes the go ahead the no don't do it you're gonna realize that you've been giving away your control unintentionally but you have nevertheless okay and it's calling you out to change that change those things okay Give yourself self-love. Know that you are a co-creator in your own life. Set your intentions. Work, it's not going to be easy. It's working hard on yourself. Almost like taking on shadow energy here. It's not that for everybody, but that is for somebody because that's what I'm getting. Okay? Spirit Guide Source is saying that there may be a hater in your group. All right? So be careful not to just take on other people's yeses or no's. Okay? There's some kind of um, something in that. Okay, let's move on. These will be, yeah, because you're going to be planting your own seeds of intention and it's going to grow into something beautiful. If you break, it's like almost breaking the chain of this kind of um, outlook or pattern that, that is happening here. Spirit guide source is coming around giving you a second chance of abundance, but it's all within you, okay? That's what I feel. What is this memory? Okay, see, Ace of Cups, something beautiful, all right? abundance love okay this card says love and with um the six of cups here that is soulmate energy okay with the lovers and the king of swords so you may you may you may be thinking about how you could move because you see this ace of cups it's the ferris wheel just like the the jupiter wheel okay you may be um thinking about how to move your connection forward your connection, your family, or just you. Taking the bull by the horns and having a conversation, honest conversation, okay? Now, for others of you, um, you're definitely in love, and there's this energy here where you may be making a decision about having this conversation about something in the past, okay? Let's see. Yeah, you're having a second go around. That's what I'm getting. There's some type of second chance here, but you need to speak up. There's a second chance here and love to get it the way you wanted it to be, the way you want it to be. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. There's a second chance here to turn things around. Karma is involved here. Okay, there's a second chance. What is this growth? All right. Um, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Okay. There's this is energy here where someone is very confident, okay, in your connection. I feel like by summertime, you're going to have this wish fulfillment. You have Nine of Cups as happiness, all right? But I do feel this energy where there may be um, something unexpected coming in because the Seven of Cups talks about dream space. All right, tell us about the dream space, okay? So there's something coming up with this storm. There's something unexpected coming up with this storm. Let's get another card. You may have a decision, to, another decision to make, yeah, about your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your wishes, okay? There's no, there's no doubt you are in love with someone and they are in love with you. 
okay? We have the lovers, we have the ace of cups. We have the queen of wands, someone going after it, someone really reaching their full potential and love with someone, all right? There's no doubt about that. But I do feel that um, there will be something that comes up that you're going to have to make a choice about because you're going to be thinking about it because Spirit God Source with the Northern Star is leading you there. Like I said in the beginning, you've been chosen, okay? You have. What's this, gifts? You have. There's this whole new outlook. You're going through a growth process, okay? You're growing. You're growing. Mm -hmm. So with the Prince of Pentacles in reverse and the um, Two of Pentacles here that speaks of change, there is this energy here where um, you may not no, you may have a whole lot on your plate and you may not feel that you have the time or the energy to go towards this new thing, but you do. You do. Are these in reverse? Okay. So with the, um, the Pope here, for some of you, you have a lot of children, a lot of people in your house or something like that, and it's causing this imbalance. Okay. Yes, it's causing this imbalance here, and if there's a need for a change, you may have stopped people from coming in your house, and that's what I see, because it's like, uh-uh, this is just way too many people, way too many energies, I keep talking about it, you know what I mean, and um, I keep saying that I need change, because the Haverfront is a five also, okay, and it speaks of tradition. You want someone to do something differently, or they want you to do something differently, or there's just a whole lot of people in the house. Okay, yeah, see, with the um, Page of Cups. So, we have the Page of Cups here. This is an inexperienced um, someone, but there is somebody here who is a friend of yours, okay, who's going to help you um, get this balance, who's going to help you create this change, who you can talk to, okay, yeah, with the friends over here, but... If you have a whole lot of friends, like I said, there is hater aid energy here. But this may also be you just having an honest, sincere conversation with someone, letting them know that something has got to change because there's some imbalance here. All right. There's an imbalance. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords, you're just kind of like done with this. That's what I feel like this is talking about. Okay. All right. You're going to get clarity. You're going to make change happen. Okay. You may have to go within and figure it out and keep to yourself, you know, and deal with your thoughts. But you are going to set the seeds of intention. There's going to be change happening because you're going to get clarity. Some of you don't feel that way right now. Or maybe you've already gone through this. This is a February 2021 um, message. And so you may have already been dealing with this. Okay. You may feel like somebody was trying to steal your dreams. Okay. And like I said, there is this person here who may try to steal your ideals. Okay. And um, that is not cool. Yes, yeah, see? Dreams, messages, thoughts. You're isolating yourself. This is hermit energy. This is Virgo. Isolating yourself, not speaking up, you know, um, really digging within and keeping it to yourself, right? The unknown thoughts, the unknown, um, that's what this is about your dreams. But also the spirit guide source is speaking to you in your dreams. You may really literally be um, accessing the Akashic records, okay? Your ancestors may be helping to guide you in your dreams. Write down your dreams. Write them down. But there is also this energy here where your thoughts um, about your dreams could come to reality. So listen to your higher self. Your higher self is being activated. Your intuition is being activated. It is up to you to create this change for yourself. But do not, I'm also getting, don't tell everybody everything that you're going to be doing because there is this hater here. There is somebody who um, may try to steal your dreams or detour you or steal your ideals or something like that is what I'm feeling. We have the um, alchemist ancestor guides. That's what I'm saying. You guys have a gift. Okay, you have a beautiful love life. You may have two children or you're having another baby, but there's already a baby that you have. Okay, but there is this ideal here that someone is using um, control tactics. And this is going to be a time where you're going to be breaking through all of that. Okay, yeah, it says a decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. 
Yeah, because it's almost like there's somebody who's a know-it-all. They know this, they know that, they know the other. But it's like it's always, it may be backfiring sometimes, even though they have good intentions. But it's like, you know the way. You know the way. Like I said in the beginning, there's this energy here where you can take your family in this new direction. But there is this pushback energy. Let's see. Even in regards to um, work, okay? See, you are protected and divinely um, guided by your ancestors. They are guiding you, okay? They are. They're guiding you in your dream space. The universe is moving you in this new direction with this new attitude. I got a new attitude, okay? And new love. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. So, this person that you're with, okay? You will be recommitting, you know, starting from slate. Like I said, there's a new slate. Like I said, there's an energy here of karma. There's a second chance at something, okay? Whether it's love, business, career, your life, okay? Or if you're dropping this relationship, there's a new love around you. Also, for some of you, I do feel this energy where there's somebody else here, whether it's you or someone else. Who may be coming back and reminding you of the nostalgic memories of the past. But I really don't feel like there's any third party situation going on or anything like that. I feel like somebody may have sent you a message. They're just reaching out to you and seeing if you are available. And that's it. You're basically um, moving towards your dreams and your desires. Now, um, the card under the deck is true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And that's what I was saying. There are two mutable signs here, or at least you are a mutable sign. And whenever this one person feels one way, you could be in a good mood. All of a sudden, you take on their energy, right? Or um, they could be in a good mood. You could be in a sad mood and you immediately take on their energy. There's, this, there's that kind of thing going on. That's the kind of love you have. See? Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Okay? Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So this could be that person showing back up um, from the past that I don't even think you're being bothered with. But for others of you... Once you start leading the herd and you start showing your skills, showing, putting your foot down and um, showing your intuition was right and bow, 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 things start moving. Yeah, this person is going to feel sorry about the way that they treated you because they didn't believe. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm getting. They didn't believe. Okay. And you may have to step away from this person just to prove a point. You know what I mean? Just to prove a point. Let's see what Spirit God Source has to say in regards to the overall message from your Spirit Guides. Face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. You'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. That's 12th house energy. Facing fears, karma coming back around, realizing and having another chance to look at things from a different perspective, the outlook, okay? Look at things from a different perspective, change the mindset, change the attitude, change the view, okay? And Jupiter swoops in and expands your life with this new freedom because you're no longer fearful. Taking the bulls by the horn, okay? Wow, that was beautiful. Now, let's bring out... What you don't know, Spirit God Source is doing in the background. What you are unaware of, what Spirit God Source is doing in the background for Virgo. Virgo. What is Spirit God Source doing for Virgo? God source is doing a lot. They're freeing you from your own mindset because this reminds me of the Eight of Swords. Okay, so they're freeing you from your own mindset that you can't do this or that you're not good enough or that it's not going to happen for you. Whatever that is, it's being changed. Okay, it is being changed. You're being given financial freedom. You're being given freedom of everything. Freedom. And again, fertility. So you could be 
um, birthing a brand new ideal or you are having a baby, just had a baby. Congratulations again. Remember, I said some of you may be into beauty of any shape, form, or fashion. You are being given new, brand new beginnings and finding the courage to speak into existence what it is that you want but also speak up to others like okay we've done it your way now let's try it this way okay having the courage and the insight to see who may be um just telling you what you want to hear so that you can tell them what you have going on and they steal the information from you don't forget that i did feel that um energy of someone you know being a hater aid and stealing your messages i saw this at the bottom so i have to show it it says travel but this is an as right over protected and you are safe and divinely guided this is the energy of moving you from choppy waters into calm waters into peace into the sun into this beautiful energy this is your spirit guides moving you from choppy waters to calm waters to peace okay to peace um, Spirit is asking me to pull one of these cards for you to see what it is you should do for yourself. Too many, Holy Spirit. One card. What should Virgo be doing for themselves at this time? So it says wellness. So really taking care of yourself. Some of you may be on a diet. Okay. Some of you may be changing what you eat. Some of you may be exercising, but there is this energy of as above, so below. So there is this energy also here where um, clear your mind and think only positive things. Meditation would really help. You will be enlightened. The crown will be lit up. Okay, third eye chakra on fleek as well. You will reach your target. I don't know if you can see that here. Spirit guide source is guiding you. You are being enlightened. So it's um, taking a spiritual bath as well. But there is more of this energy of meditation, taking care of your body, mind, and soul. Okay, eating a little bit more healthier and just um, feeling good within you. Okay, that is the focus here. It's more on you than anyone else. Okay, because I feel this energy that once you take care of you, you will be crowned. See, we have the sword of truth here. You will be crowned with the truth and you will be able to pull your family forward with confidence in your truth. What you were supposed to, you're here to do. You have a special gift. You do. And you will be celebrated. It will come in as an epiphany through your dreams or something like just clicks. Okay, so this is what I have for you. Please see. Meditation. Same card, but there's no sort of truth here. Okay. So, please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Until we see each other again, take care of yourself and be well. Namaste.